Okay, we're going to do some Python on hardware time. Yes. A couple of things going on in the browser. Well, we covered the uh, M5 stuff last week. Yeah. So, um, of course, subscribe to the newsletter. Um, last week, we kind of broke the news. Espressive and M5 stack are together. M5 stack are now getting distributed by Espressive. That's really yeah. good. Um, and then you want to talk about um, some of the differences between the compute modules? Um, well, what's interesting is that if you like there's a new compute module four, um, but if you like the compute module three style, like the little SIM card style, um, there's more versions of the 4S now available, uh, which I thought was kind of nice that they're still supporting. There are a lot of industrial customers that are um, using um, these compute modules. And of course they all have Blinka support. So if you want to run, you know, our CircuitPython libraries that interface with that API, on your Raspberry Pi boards, uh, super easy because they're they have definitions in the Blinka library. Okay, what other things do you want to talk about this week? Uh, all right, it's cool down. I gotta see what else is going on. Oh, the online uh, IDE is in two point beta. Go check it out and try it. We're not involved in this; it's a totally independent project. But I thought it was uh, really cool. Um, we're also going to be doing some work on um, code.circuitpython.org. We want to add some more support for. Uh, you non-native usb boards like the esp32 classic and like the up the c3 and the c6 and some other boards that again they don't uh, have mass storage okay keep going let's see what else is going on inky is always fine and uh oh um this was from last week's show and tell the yeah um, i was gonna play that in the alert, alert section but um we had a we had a great show and tell and if you want to see a really neat project that's um with the prop maker with the prop maker um it's extensively documented and if you want to see how you would make this or something like it yeah and then i think the other thing we want to chat about is you know there's gonna be a lot of, there's a lot of updates now that we're done with um the big bug fix push like after we do a release like 9.0 release you know we do release candidates and betas and alphas but like people don't really try them um so we actually like released 9.0 which means like we're almost immediately came up with like 9.03 9.04 whatever because we were fixing so many bugs because everyone tries the new version of the code and they you know we get like a lot of users um but we're kind of like wrapping up a lot of bug fixes and we're actually starting to cycle back into adding more functionality so what you're going to see is going to, you know, not out yet. Um, you know, Jepler's working on adding MP3 support for expressive chips. It's been a customer request for a long time. Uh, Scott came by show and tell also talked about adding Bluetooth low energy support for the ESP series as well. So all those chips are dual. They have Wi-Fi and BLE and like we haven't supported the BLE side, just the Wi-Fi side. Um, so that's coming up soon. And um, like I said, um, adding more stuff to code.circuitpython.org, probably more chips supported as well. But we're gonna you're gonna start seeing more features um, instead of just bug, bug fixes. Although we're always fixing bugs, even. But I like to I like to do like bug fix pushes and then get people working on features because it's kind of fun to do features. All right, subscribe now. We deliver this every single week. Tens of thousands of people. Read all about Python on hardware every single week. Adafruitdaily.com, we use a completely separate site, so you never have to worry about your information being used to market to you. It's a free newsletter from Adafruit. You can also look at it on GitHub or subscribe to it on RSS or look at it as a blog post. It's all good.